what's happening in the Middle East, and in particular with Gaza right now, we have some moral responsibility for both sides uh, in, in a way because we provide help and funding uh, for both Arab nations and Israel. Well, today, the weapons being used to uh, many Palestinians are American weapons and uh, American funds especially, essentially are being used uh, for this. Hamas, if you look at the history, you'll find out that Hamas was encouraged and really started by Israel because they wanted Hamas to counteract Yasser Arafat. And you said, well, yeah, that was better then and served its purpose, but we didn't want Hamas to do this. He has Americans say, well, we have such a good system, we're going to impose this on the world. We're going to invade Iraq and teach people how to be Democrats. We want free elections. So we encourage the Palestinians to have a free election. They do, and they elect Hamas. So we first indirectly and directly through Israel help establish Hamas. Then we have election. Then Hamas becomes dominant. So we have to... You know, well, Dr. No or Mr. Told You So tried to warn you, but uh, the people just didn't want to listen. Well, come back, beautiful and amazing human beings. My name is Zukadowski here of WeAreChange.org, and there's a lot of absolutely crazy, wild, and bewildering news to get into today, as, of course, we have a lot of civil strife that is absolutely being made worse by an international conflict that is only escalating from here and probably will involve now a larger proxy war that is unfolding in the Middle East and will be getting a lot worse from here. And that's why in this independent media broadcast, we are going to be breaking down all sides of the story, all the disinformation, all the propaganda and warmongering that uh, I believe definitely deserves to be called out more than ever. If you like the shirt that I'm wearing right now, you could get it on the bestpoliticalshirts.com. And the clip that we played for you in the beginning of this broadcast was, of course, highlighted by at Shadow of Ezra, who brought back an old clip of Ron Paul on the House floor in 2009 as he was yet again voicing his opposition against H.R. 34 and detailing a lot of the inconvenient facts and history of, uh, you know, the United States and Israel helping start Hamas. Something definitely worth noting in all the latest developments happening in that region right now. As of course, we're going to be talking about that specific issue in just a little bit. But in domestic news, there's a lot of other trivial nonsense that, of course, a lot of people are focusing on, including in New York, where now the girlfriend of a Brooklyn activist that lost his life because of a thug who stabbed him is now, according to the New York Post, refusing to pick him out out of a lineup, highlighting how this entire saga of urban decay gets a lot more complicated than it was before, as a lot of the social justice warriors look like that they're uh, really not for any kind of justice at all and are self-sabotaging themselves and their loved ones for some kind of greater woke doctrine and religion that they follow because the multinational corporations tell them to do so. In related opposition to all of this news, RFK Jr. has just announced in the making of this video that he is officially going to be running on the third party ticket for the presidency of the United States in 2024, running officially as now an independent, dropping out of the Democratic primary where the establishment there made sure that he had no possibility of any inroad. And now with his continued continued run. Most likely, he will be taking away a lot of votes from the former president of the United States, Donald Trump, who, of course, he resonates more with his base than the current out of touch with reality president of the United States that is implementing a build back better globalist vision that he's not even there to comprehend. As, of course, we're getting official notice from the White House that Joe Biden is officially clocked out for today and won't be making any appearances or speeches as a lot of people question the mental stability and sanity of the current president of the United States, who clearly isn't all there and can't even string along a coherent sentence. This as people look towards the leadership of the United States more than ever with the conflict in the Middle East as the price of oil is surging, increasing to over 4.5% in the making of this video. As, of course, the conflict in the Middle East has caused prices to spike and will continue to make them spike as, of course, 
the financial fiscal picture for the American people does not look bright with high record inflation, interest rates, borrowing, spending, printing money out of thin air. Add that to record high energy prices. Add that to global instability. And holy frickin' cow, you do not have yourself a good optimistic outlook for the future of the United States or its economy. And that's one reason why we decided to team up. And this video is officially sponsored by the one-tenth ounce heavy metal construction silver barter bags that you could get at JM Bullion. I actually know the guy who makes this personally. I've seen his operation grow from the very beginning. He is growing, he is expanding, and he is providing a product that's uh, very unique and something that you can't really get anywhere else as he is providing these one-tenth ounce silver bars that are very small, easy to store, and more importantly, trade and barter with. This is already in use in places like New Hampshire, a part of the Free State Project, where people meet each other and they say, hey, I'll buy, uh, I'll buy, I'll buy some eggs with this, as these are a lot easier to trade and barter with then, of course, just silver coins that you have to, of course, find it difficult to get change for. And uh, that's why he created these little pieces that are very unique, really cool to have. As when you buy these silver pieces, you're also supporting an American-backed business as these silver pieces are made, manufactured, produced by Silver Dave, my friend who was also a part of my Apocalypse Survival training course, which you get for free by signing up and being a member of LukeUnfiltered.com. You can see him here in many of the chapters teaching people land and navigation, how to build Dakota fires, how to build your own shelter, how to, of course, filter your own water, how to live fully off the grid. Those learning lessons available for members of LukeUnfiltered.com as we are also going to be having a very special, crazy video available for members right after this video. Silver Dave was actually inspired by the courses we did, and through those courses came out with this very unique idea for these silver bars that are meant for trading, meant for buying, bartering supplies for what Dave sees as something that is critically important, a part of your prepper kit. So definitely go check him out and his company by clicking the link down in the description below. As of course, uh, the, the, the forecast for the United States and the world uh, doesn't look that bright. As even just a couple days ago, the president of Russia was threatening total nuclear destruction as the situation in Ukraine and all over the world is getting more and more unstable, particularly in the Middle East, where there is just a, a plethora of disinformation and propaganda that is trying to beat the drums of war and create more conflict, as of course we are getting inundated with a lot of propaganda, a lot of disinformation that is absolutely not true. Currently, there's photos circulating of allegedly Jewish children in cages. Those photos, of course, fake. There's another video circulating, allegedly showing Palestinians taking the lives of innocent Israeli children. Those videos, of course, coming from Syria, where U.S.-backed rebels were actually committing these horrible human rights violations that your tax dollars paid for. And uh, let's not kid ourselves. There have been a lot of horrible human atrocities committed originally first against the Israeli people. And now in response, Israel is committing those same actions on the people of Gaza. A lot of people are emotionally involved here. And there has been some disgusting calls from both sides here acting in totally disgraceful and disgusting manners as even rallies inside of New York City mocked and made fun of the victims of the terror attack that they faced inside of Israel. This being met by people from the opposite side calling for more human atrocities and human rights violations. As I, I think it is worth noting and taking a step back here and understanding more importantly here that a lot of the failed American foreign policy has currently led us to the situation that we are in right now as a lot of the arms, a lot of the weapons being used right now have been, of course, very recklessly thrown into the Middle East by the United States, all in the name of, quote, democracy. The points made by Ron Paul in the beginning of this video also should highlight a lot of the concern surrounding these latest events, as even the Associated Press is reporting that there are a lot of questions emerging about what actually led to this Israeli intelligence failure that is known for its prowess that 
A lot of people are shocked, did not see a major offensive and attack coming. This as the Times of Israel is reporting today that the Egyptian government was even warning Israel of a major attack coming on Gaza. Intelligence warnings and direct communications that were ignored by Israeli officials, who according to the Times of Israel were fixated on quote, protecting and expanding the West Bank settlements in their country. All of this is happening as the United States is now deploying its largest warship in the world to the region and, of course, shipping in a lot of aid and military supplies into the country right now as, of course, Israel is facing threats from the north and south of its country, specifically now from Lebanon as well as there are major military mobilizations happening there, as the Israeli government prepares for a major military operation where they will have soldiers on the ground inside of Gaza. A major mobilization, a major attack that the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Yahu, told Joe Biden that Israel has no other choice but to do. This as Republican neoconservatives like Den Crenshaw are calling this conflict to be the conflict to end all conflicts. You know, just like uh, World War I that definitely ended all conflicts. As there have been a lot of major escalations calling for the involvement of the United States and Israel to attack Iran now, which the Washington Post has been reporting was intricately involved here as the Secretary of State of the United States, Anthony Blinken, is denying those reports. As the Ministry of Defense for Israel announced that Gaza is being cut from electricity, food, and fuel in trapping millions of people without basic necessities, including, of course, many innocent civilians that are being caught up in this mix, as the Israeli government is now also launching many military strikes inside of that region, bombing campaigns that are targeting very close-knit communities, clear violations of human rights, as, of course, the Israeli defense minister announced that he is fighting animals. Rhetoric and escalations that a lot of people are calling out as absolute excessive here as many people are saying, taking innocent life because innocent life was taken is not going to solve any of the problems here, but only exacerbate them and make them worse. And as innocent human beings are maimed in Israel and in Palestine, they're cut off from gas, water, food, electricity. This will only provoke more countries to potentially be involved here, inclu including countries like Saudi Arabia that just officially announced that they have ended all negotiations on normalizing ties with Israel, as we're seeing a sort of proxy alliance between them, Iran, China, when it comes to the geopolitical shaping up of this larger conflict that, of course, is brewing here that everyone should be paying attention to. As, of course, this modern conflict now also includes drones, most likely given to them by the Iranians, which Hamas and Hezbollah troops will most likely be using against the Israelis. As the Ukrainian war has shown us specifically that modern conflict has definitely dramatically changed where now major airplanes and ships are not as capable as small drones that are able to inflict maximum damage on major key pieces of infrastructure that could be very easily destroyed with toy robots. This is something that is going to be playing a major impact here, especially when Israel goes into Gaza. Something that I think is, is incredibly important to, to look out for in, in the future of a lot of these modern warfares that are sadly evolving, escalating as more people keep calling for them while absolutely disregarding innocent human beings who are being caught up in this madness that sadly probably will be escalating from here. In, in my opinion, again, Hurting innocent people because innocent people were hurt is just absolutely idiotic. Yes, you could have self-defense. Yes, you could protect yourself. But the fact that there's larger escalations in response to these escalations, the fact that more countries are getting involved here signals a lot of very troubling times ahead for us. That's what I think. If you agree with me and think that this is wrong, share this video with your friends and family members. It is more imperative than ever. The situation is crazy and it's about to get a lot crazier from here. I got one more video coming your way specifically about this topic, specifically talking about more of the in-depth 
crazier, more insane video footage that we were not able to play for you on this particular broadcast. That video with the unedited, uncensored videos from the region highlighting everything in great detail available for you right now on LukeUnfiltered.com. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for our sponsor. Check them out. Click the link also down in the description below for the silver pieces. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you supporting this independent media broadcast. And that's why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on WeAreChange.org.